Hello, what's up guys? My name is Ghazan Frali and in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create some custom attributes for your simple products in WooCommerce. So, for example, you have one simple product. In my case, I have this simple product that is multimeter. Here is the product image. This is the multimeter image. And then I have some custom attributes that are related to this products that are op operating voltage, operating frequency, operating power and so on and so forth now also i have this product description what i want use two different tabs one for the product description and other for the product attributes so if you want to learn that how you can add these custom attributes in your simple product in woocommerce then without further to do let's get started So the first thing that you will have to do is to go to this attribute section and in the attribute section I want to add some attributes. I already have added this operating value. I want to add more attributes. So what I will do first of all is to add all of the attributes that I want. So in this scenario I will be adding operating frequency. then i have operating power then i want to add operating temperature after that i have current measuring range then i have current transformer i have some other attributes as well i'll quickly add those attributes now all right so i have added these attributes now the next thing that i want to do is to configure the terms for these attributes so i'll configure these terms now i'll start with the operating power so here we have operating power here you can see it says configure terms so what you want to do is to click on this configure terms here and once you'll click on this configure terms or any of your attributes this window will appear and from here what you want to do is to add the values for your attributes so for now i want to add the value of less than 6 va and then i'll add this as a new operating power so what it will do is to assign this value less than 6 va to our custom attribute that was operating power now if i go back to attributes here in the operating power you can see here is our value appearing in your case if you have more than one values like for example this color is one attribute and it has three values like this you will have to add three values separately so in my cases i only have one value so i'll be adding one value so next step i have operating temperature so i'll click on this configure terms here and for the value i want to add minus 20 degrees celsius to 55 degree celsius now i don't know how to insert the sign of degrees so what i'll do is to search for degree symbol on google and from here i'll copy this symbol and then i'll go back and i'll insert this symbol in the right place and once i'll done i'll click on this add new operating temperature in this way i'll assign the values to each of the attributes that i have added and you can also do the same thing and i'll pause this video until i'll assign the attributes and then we'll resume the video all right so here i have added the values for each of these attributes you can see it here once you will add the values for every attribute that you want to add the next thing that you want to do is to 
add the products and assign the attributes to them so for now what i want to do is to click on this add new here so that i can add a new product and from here i'll have to fill in the product informations so what i'll do is that i'll use my document that i have the product name is digital multimeter and then i want to add the product description i'll copy some of the product description from here and then what i want to do is to assign the category so for now i'll assign this category then what i want to do is to add the product image i already have uploaded the product image so what i want to do is to choose the product image from there so this is the product image that i want to use i'll click on set product image and then it will be our product image and now the fun part as a simple product you can set the price so for now i'll keep the price as 90 dirham and then here is the attribute tabs you will click on this attribute and you will see this option custom product attribute if you will click on it it will open this drop down and then from this drop down you can choose any of the product attributes that you want to assign so for this product i want to assign operating voltage first of all so i'll choose operating voltage and then i'll click on this add button here then it will ask you to select the value because we already have assigned the values so what i want to do is to simply click on this and it will show you the available values i'll choose the value and then i'll click on save attribute here and once you will click on this save attribute this attribute will be assigned to this particular product that we are adding and now you can see this operating voltage is added to this product now what i want to do is to assign the other attributes the next step i have is operating power so i'll choose the operating power here and then i'll click on this add button and then from here i'll choose the value and then i'll click on save attribute next up i have operating temperature so i'll use operating temperature and i'll click on this add here and now i will add the value for this operating temperature i'll choose the value and once again i'll hit save attribute in the same way i'll assign the other attributes that i have created to this product i'll do this quickly now so i have assigned these attributes to this product now what i want to do is to simply publish this product so i'll hit publish now so that this product will get published so now our product is published what i want to do is to simply click on this view product button here so that we can review that what we have created so here is the product this is the product image this is the price that we have added this is the product title and then here is the product description here is the additional product attributes that we have just added so in this way you can assign the custom product attributes to a single simple product i hope you like this video if you have learned something new please consider subscribing to my youtube channel